what's up guys? How you guys doing today? How you doing? How you doing? Forget about it, right? That's what they say, I think. I don't know. I'm from Georgia, so I say, hey y'all! How you doing? Get her done! Your mom and them and all that crap. Alright, so today is going to be a very interesting moto vlog because I am going this way and you're probably asking, well Jasper, why are you going this way instead of that way? But I'm really going this way for a purpose, so I'm not going to go that way. Uh, so I'm in the middle of doing a moto vlog earlier today. That's right, like I said, I'm always, always filming. <laughs> and, uh, so I get a call, now mind you, I have my, my little ram out here. And uh, so I can see if someone's calling me. So I saw it was Katie, and I just swiped it real quick and said, I'm on the bike, I'll call you back. <laughs> She's like, um, so I went to lunch today on my, you know, my work lunch, and uh, I sort of bought a bunny. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm sorry, I must not have heard you correctly. Did you just say a bunny? She's like, yeah, I, I, I bought a bunny. I'm like, but you know what? It brings up a really good question. Uh, what, what is the craziest animal or pet you have ever had? I would love to know. I'd say for me, the craziest pet I ever had was uh, a bunny. <laughs> I had, um, there was uh, this, I called her Callie. She was a little albino lion head and uh, she enjoyed chewing on everything literally everything. She was a cuddle bug, she loved cuddling, but when she wasn't cuddling or sleeping or pooping or eating, she was chewing constantly. But it was really cool because my cat loved her and they played together all the time, so it kept her occupied so she didn't chew as much. But anyways, that's the craziest animal I've ever had. Uh, the most memorable animal, I would say, thank you for asking, by the way, that's a good question. The most memorable uh, animal that I have ever had would have to be my kiki. What the hell is a kiki? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I am actually not a, a cat person by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I, I've always got this saying uh, that uh, you know, a dog will look at you and, and say, wow, this this guy is feeding me, he's he's giving me shelter, he's petting me, he's taking care of me. Wow, he must be my master. But a cat, a cat will say, wow, this guy is feeding me and giving me shelter and petting me and taking care of me. <laughs> I must be his master. But Kiki was my kitty cat and I absolutely loved her. Hang on a second, we gotta get out of this situation. Uh-uh, I don't wanna be boxed in. Yeah, so Kiki was the coolest cat on the face of the planet. So I, I had just moved to Orlando, I was rooming with these three dudes, and uh, we were out back goofing off in the pool, and uh, we heard these, this meow coming from the tool shed. So we go over there, we inspect it, and sure enough, there's three little kittens there. Couldn't, I mean, didn't even have their eyes open yet. Well, if you took a really close look at them, it was so funny. It, it, I'm sure you've seen the Alvin and the Chipmunks. Okay, so, we had three of them. There was Theodore, who was the uh, the fat, chubby one, right? Theodore was the fat, chubby one? Yeah. And uh, then there was Simon, who was lanky and skinny, and uh, he's very curious. He was always, he, he never talked. He was always just kind of watching. And then there was Alvin, AKA my Kiki. Uh, and she was white tabby, which was super cool because I, it's very rare to see a white tabby. Well, turns out, and I'm getting off on a tangent, but turns out uh, she was actually a Siamese tabby. She shed like crazy, but she was hypoallergenic. It was really cool. But uh, she had these gorgeous blue eyes. So a white cat, tabby, blue eyes, hypoallergenic. Well, I took care of her for almost uh, the whole time that I was there after we found him. And uh, it was funny, one night I told uh, my, my roommate, uh, whose parents owned the house, I, I said, hey man, I'm, I'm moving out in a week and uh, I want to take the cat with me. I want to take, because we got rid of the other two. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I want to take, uh, take Kiki with me. 
And of course, they called him Achilles. That was that was the name at first, but Achilles is a stupid name for a cat, so I named her Kiki, which is kind of like a nickname for that. But anyways, I digress. My point is, is he said no. That's the house cat, and she stays here. I was like, okay, fine. Well, I'm not taking care of her anymore because I've been taking care of her for almost a year now. He's like, fine, whatever. So that night, I put uh, the kitty litter box and her food and water in the in his bathroom. Didn't even take one night. <laughs> the next morning, he was like, all right, fine, you can have her. I'm like, yes! Ha! Gotcha, bitch! But that was definitely my most memorable pet. So I will ask you guys, what is the craziest pet you've ever had? And what is the most memorable pet you've ever had? I would love to hear your answers. Make sure you put it in the comments section down below. Thanks again for always watching you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. I am out.